Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para dar la alegría y cosas buenas. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. ¡Eh, Macarena! Hello! Were you surprised to see this video? I think so. Well, the fact is that, obviously, I have forgotten to tell you something about Italian pronunciation. But not one thing only, but two. Oh. So, I had to make this video, obviously, because uh, uh, you have to know about uh, these two things. The first is uh, another sound I didn't talk you about, and uh, here is the sound. You pronounce it ye. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's difficult. Um, like I'm thinking of an example. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, it could be the word uh, mm, Gio, Gio, which is the English lily, I think. You know, the flower. And, uh, well, I don't know how to explain you this, uh, this sound. Gi, gi. Uh, it uh, occurs uh, often in... Uh, Italian language, so you have to learn it. I'm sorry. And uh, the second thing is about uh, accent. Yes, um, I want to explain it uh, deep in deeply because it relate. It is related to syllables and uh, and so on. So. Right now, explaining syllables would be very... It would make a very long video. And uh, you know how much I hate long video. I'll explain you um, shortly the accent. I've taken a word you should uh, already know. This one, you see it? Okay, this word has two syllables. The first one, ra, and the second one, no. <laughs> uh, the general rule is that uh, in Italian language, uh, Italian, uh, the, the accent is on the last but one syllable. Uh, in this case, uh, it is, uh, of, of course, on th this one, ra, because it is, this is the last uh, syllable, and uh, this is the last but one. However, in fact, uh, you say ragno, and not, and not Ragno, <laughs> which would sound <laughs> incredibly strange, <laughs> or, or like in this in this word, um, the accent as before is on this uh, con on this uh, syllable, so treno and not treno. <laughs> it, it sounds so French. Uh, wait. Okay, now you have the right to feel extremely confused. However, uh, I have. Uh, mm, let's start from this one. This uh, this word has three syllables: va, li, 
and this is a diff tongue so in this case you consider it as one syllable only ja and as as i've said before accent on the last but one so valija not valija or valija here here the accent here the accent valija and to explain to let you see an example of uh, a syllable which doesn't uh, and with the vowel here so we have two syllables ser pen te and uh, i don't know how to explain syllables to you but it's not so important uh, uh, because uh, you will learn uh, um, words uh, uh, always with uh, the right accent I'll pronounce uh, the word for you so you don't have to worry so much about it however um, it could be for you um, a guide when you find uh, a, a, a word which you don't know and you would like to to try and find the right pronunciation uh, in this case uh, the accent is here pen in fact you say serpente not serpente or serpente mm? and uh, for, for us we have finished <laughs> italian pronunciation at least basic italian pronunciation and what else i can tell you mm, uh, i have found my old <laughs> grammar book so from now on I'll have, uh, I'll have a guide to teach you Italian and uh, the next two videos will be first about uh, the personal pronouns and uh, the verb to be and uh, the second will be uh, a vocabulary video and I'll teach you Italian greetings you know ciao <laughs> and so on so see you later goodbye ciao Dalla tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, que tu cuerpo pa' dar la alegría y cosa buena. Dalla tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, eh Macarena. Dalla tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, que tu cuerpo pa' dar la alegría y cosa buena. Dalla tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, eh Macarena. Ay.